First of all, I would like to thank Jacob Freeman for e from EVGA for sending this card out to us. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into the review. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Pascal has arrived to the entry level market. So, the GTX 1050 for the win has 2 gigabytes of video RAM, okay? And it's G it's GDDR5. Now, the cool thing about this, let's talk about the specs overall. It's got 640 pixel pipelines. The base clock is 1442 megahertz. The boost clock is 1556 megahertz boost. It's got 57.68 gigatexels per second texture fill rate. Now that 2 gigs is 128-bit GDDR5 and it's at 7 gigahertz effective. Its memory bandwidth is 112.16 gigabytes per second. Now, there's no LED on this one. There's no LED logo on it because it's not the 1070 or the 1080. It's got ACX cooling. So, EVGA has once again pushed the envelope with stock cooling. And we'll talk about more about ACX 3.0 in just a little bit. It's based on PCI Express 3.0 16. Now, the cool thing is, the max supported Mars is 3, 240 max refresh rate, max digital 7680 by 4320. So, this comes with all the bells and whistles. Now, let's talk about the height, okay? The height from top to bottom, from top to the bottom of the card is going to be 4.376 inches or for people who are use millimeters that's going to be 111.15 millimeters. Now, this card is a little on the long side. This is 10.5 millimeters or no, 10.5 inches. At 266.7 millimeters, this should work in any size case. Any mid tower, micro tower, mini ITX tower, it should work with that. It's a dual slot card, and being 10.5 inches, it's a real lady pleaser. So, Another cool thing about this card, it supports all the versions of Windows. You need to have a minimum of a 300 and watt power supply. An available 6-pin PCIe connector and the total power draw is 120 watts. Now, this little guy comes with a 3-year warranty. Excellent, excellent warranty. So, let's go in and talk about the technology of Pascal. So, Pascal is the new architecture that NVIDIA has. It comes with... Vulkan support, Satanos multi projection, OpenGL 4.5, NVIDIA Arsenal, a revolutionary 360 degree image capture for VR, DirectX 12, uh, PCI Express. I mean, this thing has it all. It's also built for EVGA Precision XOC overclocking. So, the SHP 2.0 gives increased heat pipes and copper contact area for the cooler operation. It's got optimized fan curve for even quieter gaming, so everything is automatic. Now, here's a real kicker. When this card is when this card is below a certain usage, it the fans won't even spin. So it's silent operation. So the cool and then really awesome. It's it's got double bar bearings, sweat fan blades, less power, unlocking more additional for overclocking. Let me go and let's go and take a look around the GPU. On the top right here, as you can see, you can see a little bit of that ACX. We got that EVGA logo, the GeForce GTX 1050, a six-pin PCIe adapter for the win. Now, on the front of the card, this is shows you more of that ACX 2.0, 
ACX 3.0 looking really sharp right there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the back of the card. And as you know, there's no back plate. Okay. Shows the PCI Express fingers right there. The front of the card, these are twin 80 to 92 millimeter fans. So these have big, giant fans to keep everything cool. Let me get a good picture of that Swept fan blade looking real sharp there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a look at the back of the card. And as you can see, it's vented out the back. Now, we have DVID. And we have HDMI. We also have DisplayPort. So, and then we also have your old DVID for your older type of monitors. Now, this does not have SLI support because this is a low range card. But having two gigs of RAM and the power pass scale really is going to bring Brave Life into an older computer. Or let's say you're stuck with a PC with integrated graphics. Let's say you just got a nice pre built computer from a pre built manufacturer like Novo, Novo HP, Asus or you got a custom build from Cyberlink and you got a little lower end model and they gave you a GPU that you know that really was too low of power this is perfect if you're getting into really good gaming but you want a great graphics card so as you can see right along here more the ACX 2.0 and it's a quite it's actually really really light I mean, look at this card, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for $140, now, price may vary depending on shipping and your location. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is one really hot singing, dancing video card. You can get this card from Newegg or any e-teller. You can get it from any retailer, Best Buy, Tiger Direct, anywhere video card components are sold. But if you do live where the EVGA housing is, uh, you can just go over there or order online. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what the GTX 1050 for the win edition looks like inside of the Techno Warriors TV video editing computer. So it looks really sharp, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and we'll go ahead and install the new drivers and get to town. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what did I think about the GTX 1050 for the win edition from EVGA? I think they did a really amazing job on this card. This card is perfect for anyone who wants to play AAA games up all the graphics settings. Basically meaning you want to play AAA games, but you just want to run them. You don't care about the eye candy and stuff. Or... You are on a you're building a gaming PC on a budget. This card fits you. Let's talk about the benchmarks. Now, the benchmarks were as follows in GTA 5 with texture settings set to manual, and I had to set it to normal because only two gigs of GDDR5. That's quite low, and that's perfect for the RAM count. It's great for anyone who just wants to play the newest titles. They still want to turn up the graphics settings, but, you know, they don't need to max it out. Next, we got, I got between 20 to 50 frames per second in some of the areas. Now, on... And this and all this is 1080p on a F AMD FX8350 at 4 gigahertz, 24 gigs of Kingston DDR3 memory, 1866 megahertz, a GTX 1050, and a 6 700 watt power supply SSD. The whole works. A G4 MSI G43 motherboard. Now, watch talks. I got around the same performance, and it basically is the same story as GTA 5. Explain white poor performance. Ex 
especially with X Plane, you are going to want at least a GTX 1070 or a 1060. At least 6 to 8 gigs of video RAM is very recommended for X Plane because those, if you want to run everything maxed out on all your games, you're going to want the GPU to, for it. But, in conclusion, if you're looking for a GP, if you're looking for a budget GPU that will let you play the latest titles, this is the card to go with. Overall, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, which is a Techno Warriors editor's choice. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to thank our sponsor EVGA for sending this out to the show. Thank you so much, Jacob Freeman, and also our other sponsor, Startup Elevated. Be sure to like this video. Give that big video a Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you hated it. And go ahead and subscribe. And to be notified when we release more videos. And pow right in the kisser.